Hi cake friend and welcome to the Home Bakers Hive YouTube channel, a place where bakers get together to learn how to run a profitable baking business. Like, comment and subscribe and let's grow together. Setting smart cake goals is so important, right? If you want to get paid, if you want to get the sales, the bookings. So let's talk about setting smart goals. Smart goals, and you've probably heard it before, but a smart goal you know, in the business management perspective or context, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound, right? Those are your SMART goals. How do you set SMART cake goals? Now, before I talk to you about how to set SMART cake goals, I want to talk to you about subscribing to this channel, if you've not already done so, <laughs> you know, please do hit that subscribe button sister brother if you're watching this and um share this video with someone that you know you know it's gonna get some value out of it okay so let's talk about setting smart cake goals smart cake goals guys is all about really instead of sitting and waiting for that cake order take a pen and a paper and get writing so let's set those smart goals specific how many cake orders can you handle realistically within a week i can do four <laughs> some people can do 10 and 20 i cannot do that right so that is not my goal my goal is just to do four cakes a week if i do four cakes every week over the next four weeks for that month i know i'm going to get paid that measurable i can measure it for right attainable you can do 20 i can't so it's attainable for me and it's realistic. I've got kids at home and um, I've got a family to take care of. So for me, it's attainable, right? And it's realistic and it's time bound, right? It's within a week. So within a space of a week, I can do four cakes. So let's set those smart goals again. So how many cakes can I do per week? I can do four cakes per week. But realistically, am I going to get those four bookings every week? Probably not. What can I do to get those four bookings? per week i'm gonna page over my phone book or my messages and just see how many clients did i have last year in this month and i'm gonna start reaching out to them okay in the next week so do you want to book your cake again for alicia do you want to book your anniversary cake go back into your records and if you don't have any records you know use your stories I mean, it's your infrastructure right it's like your billboard so use your facebook stories your instagram stories your whatsapp stories and just tell people hey i'm open i've got four spaces next week do you want to book your cake let me know or just send a survey guys to your previous clients send them a survey and say hey guys you know what um i want to find out your birthday and your anniversary date and your child's birthday how many kids you got Four, let me know what are their birthdays. I want to rewrite you next month, but do it in a smart way. Like, don't do it like that, you know? And where do you do a survey, Esther, you ask? <laughs> okay, then there are survey tools that you can use for free on the internet. There's Google surveys. Create a three, four, five questions. Send it out to those previous clients. Let them fill out and ask for their email addresses and ask for their birthdays. Everyone's staying in that house. What are their names? What are their birthdays? Start reminding them, hey, okay, we are probably right now in the month of September. You might be watching this some other month. Then you see, okay, which birthdays are coming up for my clients in December? I need to start reminding them. Okay, so in December, I've got 10 birthdays from those 10 birthdays. I really need to book five bookings. I need to get five bookings and then you get going, okay? But do set yourself some good goals in your cake business because my goodness, bookings are not going to come to you, right? Unless you've really done a lot of work in the past with your social media and you've really done a really good work. And even if you've done really good work in the past, you still need to do some work right now for the future, okay? I know I really do a lot of marketing. So some months I don't even do any marketing and the bookings will just follow. But then there are those quiet months for me, for my area. January, February, March, then, you know, wear my marketing pants, whatever you may call it, and then just go out and market. So I can get those bookings in January, February, and March. But please, cake maker, cake decorator, my lovely cake friend, 
set yourself some key goals. Set yourself some smart goals. Don't sit around wishing for key orders. I hope this helps. Please subscribe. See you in the next one.